for the afternoon CIE professors and all my colleagues. Thank you, ZFAM, again for arranging this event. So my part will be on the pathogenesis of NEPHEL. So I got nothing to disclose. I think these definitions have been covered by Professor Wovensui. The NEPHEL is a spectrum including non-alcoholic fatty liver, steatohepatitis, and then advancement of HCC. So most of my slides are <clears throat> from ESA 2019. But the spectrum of NEPHEL and the concurrent disease, I think that has been covered by Professor Woman Sui. So I will be talking on pathophysiology of NEPHEL D in the next 20 to 30 minutes. And I hope <clears throat> you will have a very uh, complicated dull moment. As a clinician, it's very, so sorry for, go, you know, go pathology to cheat how we do our <laughs> pathology. <clears throat> it's very, a bit tedious for us. So it's, a decade ago, our life is very simple. The cause of NEFA is just a two-hit theory. Insular resistance causing steatosis, and then these metabolic pathways leading to inflammation, fibrosis, and so that's all for NEFA. Very simple to answer. But now, this is no, not only two-hit. There is a multiple hit theory. But these multiple hits are going simultaneously. So this is a multiple parallel hit theory. So there are many causes, many pathways involving. Because of the latest technology, these multiple omics, that is genomics, transcriptomics, proteomics, metabolomics, combining. So the etiology and the pathogenesis, the study of NEFA has been supplemented by these new te technologies and then it becomes very complicated. The involvement of NEFA involves multiple organs, not only the liver only the intestine, the liver, the pancreas, the adipocytes, the brain, the muscles. And there's a crosstalk between these glucose or energy utilizing tissues and the energy, what you call, <clears throat> controlling organs. So this is a, a glucose uptake by the cell and leading to complete oxidation or the extra glucose, as you all know, will be going to lipogenesis. As you all know, adipocytes are not just uh, merely a fat cells. They are an endocrine organ. These are the Sorry. So these are the various cytokines produced by the adipocytes, including the immune modulators, angiotensin, leptin, resistant, everything. And they can be pro inflammatory sometimes and can be anti inflammatory depending on the situations. Likewise, insulin sensitivity and resistance also depends on the situation, not only the cytokines. CFM, caring for well-being.